A rifle in choice is the Gamo Swarm Magnum Gen 3i. What we're doing is I figured we'd do a velocity and a gelatin test of three very popular pellets. We have the Premier Domes. These are the Ultra Magnums, 10.5 grain round nose. In the middle, the tried and true, the favorite, the cheap, the accurate. Those are the Premier Holo Points, 7.9 grain triple point pellets. And on the right are the Crossman Destroyers. So are 7.4 grains, and they're a pointed hollow points. Kind of want to see what those will do in gel. That's really why I'm doing this video today. So, our deepest penetrators, of course, would be our domed ultra mags at around nine inches of penetration. It's where they settled. As we move on to the premier hollow points, uh, we had two, one which left the block, but our test fire is right up there. And what the second one on camera, or really the third one, is up right there, three and a half inches. So ranging from three to three and a half inches are destroyers now. Ended up at four and a half inches and four and a half inches. There's one, there's two right there. So the Crossman Destroyers did penetrate more than our Premier Holo Points did. Our destroyers, which was our first one when the rifle apparently was sighted in for. Penetration, just shy three and a half. I'd put that at three and three eighths inches. Still three and three eighths inches of penetration. 25 yards. Not horrible out of a 17 cal rifle. And at the top of the block is a Premier Hollow Point, which ended up getting around five inches flat on the penetration mark as we see our deep penetrators here which are coming in just under the eight inch point around seven three quarters uh expansion wise if you're looking for short efficient energy dispersion you have two choices you can go with the premier hollow point or the crossman destroyer the hollow point as distance is added now begins to out penetrate. It's shorter penetration up close. The premier hollow point gave a 25 caliber permanent cavitation. So it quickly tapered off, whereas with the destroyer, it prolonged its cavitation. It was smaller, but it continued further down the line 25 yards when the velocity slowed down it it still expands though so in either case you don't really have a notable cavity from the pellet entering into a gelatin uh, we're going to go dig these out all right so our first one right here this is our domed ultra magnum let's zero out we see 174 169 1705 so no expansion on the domed ultra magnum a weight of 10.6 grains Our next shot, this is our premier hollow point. Take pictures of these here. Did get some expansion. And we are looking at 2125. 
2145. And that was 2105. So around 22 caliber expansion from the 10 yard shot. And 7.8 grains. With some powder on the scale there. A little residue. All right. And our destroyer, which I didn't want to see at first, though you'll get to see. Those are fragments. So, right there, that is our pointed destroyer. Folded in on itself. At 183. Oh, that one did not stick. 1805 and 1805. So minor expansion or too much expansion. It definitely flapped open, folded down, and then rolled in on itself. Eight tenths of a grain in fragments and 6.8 grains afterwards. So there's still a fragment I did not recover. Those are our muzzles. Let's go check out what our 25 yarders looked like. All right, first up, this is our 25 yard Dome Dolcher Magnum. 1715, 172, and 1715. So a little bit better. And 10.6 grains. So, no weight loss there. Our 25 yard Premier Hollow Point. 1840. I think that was a voice crack. 1810. And 1835. So, we definitely lost expansion and hence the further penetration. 7.9 grains. Okay, so essentially uh, no weight loss there. And this is our 25 yard destroyer, which expanded but did not quite collapse in as much. 2015, 2015, and 21 as it's fallen out. Two zero two zero. So at twenty five yards, the destroyer is expand. It has expanded larger than the premier hollow point in our weight. Seven point three grains, a tenth of a grain under. Nothing to be concerned about. So with that one, uh, we got a fully overview. Twenty five yards destroyer does expand more than what the Premier Hollow Point does. Though if you're up close, the Premier Hollow Points do take that velocity better and will lead to bigger expansion. And with that, thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.